Nature has a way of producing record-breaking animals. Recent studies like the Bruhathkeosaurus redescription, the Swiss tyrant, and Parasitus have pushed the boundaries of what we thought biomechanically possible. Today we'll be discussing a new gigantic superpredator that makes physics cry with its absurd Hold on, hold on. Haven't your last couple dinosaur videos been dedicated to the massive rulers of the Earth? What about the small, lesser-known dinos? Don't leave out the little guy. I... I mean, I guess you're right, but that's what people click on. Yes, I am right. So that is why I'll be taking over this video and making it Fun Size Dinosaurs by Brie. We will be comparing the average masses of the smallest dinosaurs to discover the smallest boy among them all. We shall use our esteemed guest, Mr. Featherstone, as a size comparison. Haha, -ha, a bit of dark humor. Here's the real Mr. Featherstone before Thursday dinner. He conveniently weighs the exact average of a male bantam chicken at 0.79 kilograms. Aha, let's give him a hat. Boop. I can deny it no longer. I am small. So we begin our expedition to discover the smallest non-avian members of the dinosauria. Number 10. Hesperonychus. He is primarily found in North America and ate human toes. But we can't be mad about that, because look how adorable he is. Nope, it definitely did not eat human toes, because human toes had yet to be invented. It was a relative of Velociraptor that likely ate small mammals, lizards, amphibians, and insects. His Mr. Featherstone score is 2.2. Number 9. Aquilobs. This cute little goober is a microceratopsian. You can tell by that cute snoot that he is just looking for snuggles. He often liked to watch rodents eat lizards in his free time. His Mr. Featherstone score is 2.02, .02, which is a whole 0.2 below our friend Hesperonychus. Number 8. Procompsognathus. Procompsognathus was known for his skipping ability. He was found on the tropical beaches of the Bahamas drinking fruity little mango drinks just because he was special. More like eating schnitzel. Procompsognathus was a carnivore that lived in Germany in the Triassic period. The Bahamas, just like human toes, had not yet been invented. Anyways, his Mr. Featherstone score rating is 1.64. That weighs less than an average cantaloupe. Brie, almost all of these weigh less than an average cantaloupe. What's your point? Number seven. Microraptor. The Microraptor was a vigilante in its time. It's rumored that DC stole his story and plastered it onto a bat. A man. Batman. Because, I mean, just look at those wings. Basically, Batman. He hunted for the Joker goblins in the middle of the night and ate them. Unlike Batman, he doesn't have a rule against killing, or guns. Actually, that's all true. Mr. Featherstone time. Microraptor score is 1.51. Number 6. Inquebasaurus. Hmm, he's skinny. He is the mother of all ostriches. You can see the resemblance in their faces. And like ostriches, I know nothing about ostriches. But I'm sure he has a lovely personality. I rest my case. The fossil record doesn't tell us anything about personality, so I can't legally dispute that. However, Nequebosaurus did use gastroliths as a digestive aid, which modern ostriches also do. While it wasn't an ancestor of birds, it kind of looked like them, so I can see where you're coming from. Nequebosaurus's placement on this list is a bit shaky, since the one kilogram estimate was from a juvenile specimen. It may have been bigger than- Its definite and final Featherstone score is 1.2. Two, six. Okay. Number five. Anchiornis. Well, you see, our friend here, Anchiornis, was part of a bike gang. Every member in the gang was required to have a bright red mohawk so people would fear them. They would go trolling around the highways, wreaking havoc, and they enjoyed it. That might be true, subtracting the bikes. Anchiornis is known from hundreds of specimens uncovered in China, although we don't currently have evidence for group behaviors. Its thick, spiky feathers reduced its potential aerodynamicness, but were great at repelling water. Its Mr. Featherstone score is 0.7. Haha! -ha. Number 4. Mahakala! This is the god of all chickens. His regal plethora of feathers demonstrates his power. He has the power to smite any chicken that dares besmirch him. Every three or four years, the chicken villagers hike up Mount Doom 
to throw their fairest maiden into the volcano as an offering to him. He's not sure why they do this since he never asked them to, but he appreciates the effort. I think we should start observing this once again. This was supposed to be an informative video about small dinosaurs, not a propaganda piece for a nanotherapod cult. I think cults are cool. Mahakala isn't even a chicken, why would they worship- What happened to this video? His Mr. Featherstone score is 0 0.69. Number 3. Yichi. Yichi was a dragon of the Jurassic period. He was a menace to society, mostly to bugs. As pictured here, they were best friends with mushrooms. While Yichi may look like a dragon, it likely had a flying capacity limited to gliding between tree branches. It was an insect eater that would have swooped down and snapped up prey in its tiny jaws, muttering to itself about how one day the great dragons of Morgoth would reclaim the land of Middle-earth. His Mr. Featherstone score is 0 0.48. Number 2. Epidexipteryx. Epidexicteryx was a monkey at heart. He swung from trees and yelled at the top of his lungs, earning him the name Tarzan. Sadly, he couldn't grow a fabulous head of hair like Tarzan, so he remained with peach fuzz on the top of his head, longing to feel for the wind in his non-existent long hair. It's a reptilian eye eye on cocaine, don't romanticize it. His Mr. Featherstone score is 0 0.35. Number 1. Parva Cursor. The winner! He was just a little guy! He only weighed 0 0.162 kilograms. You always see jokes about T-Rex arms, but maybe we should start with jokes about our cursor arms. Look at those! I don't know if they even can clear its fat layer. If these things were still around, I think I would have one as a pet. That would be like having a chicken as a pet. You don't want a chicken. I do now. Plus, it's a chicken with little stabby arms. Stabby arms aside, the tiny specimen of Parvacursa remotus may have been a juvenile, so it could have grown larger than this. However, even with potential growth further in its life, it's still quite a bit lighter than its second place competitor. Let's hear it for the stabby chicken. His Mr. Featherstone score is 0 0.21. Thanks for watching! Now that you've seen the little guys, what do you think? Drop your favorite nanotherapod in the comments and join the Vividend Discord server and subreddit from the links in the description. Shout out to my wife for coming up with this video, and we'll see you next time on the Vividend. Goodbye!